so i can say that it depends between 300 to 330 on a wider side yes. so that is a monthly expenditure uh, monthly rent over here which a student can calculate that it going to be between 250 to 330 yeah. a range yes. where they can decide where they wanted to live in i personally prefer all the students please go to a multi uh, culture uh, this uh, stay you know when you stay you stay with the foreigners would be a very good idea rather than only uh, staying with your community uh, there are lot of reasons about it the reasons i have discussed in my earlier videos but uh, it is always good to stay with all the different cultures all together Hello friends my name is Mani and welcome with our chair we have Ayush with us thank you so much Ayush for giving us time today and uh, he studying in university of magdeburg obgu magdeburg and he is studying system engineering he is doing masters in system engineering i think he will be the right person to tell you the monthly expenditure here in magdeburg and i really appreciate because he was telling me that he has been working in so many companies as a part time job and he has a very a uh, good uh, experience all together within such a short span of time so i thought that he will be the right person to guide you about the monthly expenditure so thank you so much ayush for no, giving no, us time no. again uh, can you please tell uh, your introduction first uh, hello guys my name is ayush kar uh, i am studying systems engineering uh, systems in manufacturing engineering from ogu university I came here in April uh, to pursue my masters and uh, we will be discussing a little bit about the expenditure that I have faced. Uh, if we talk about expenditure every student every person have a uh, different expenditure but I can uh, talk about few things which are necessary and which the, the bare minimum expenditure that every student has to go through here. Uh, so we can start with the rent when we talk about rent the, every student has two options. Uh, when the student comes here, he either can apply in a VOBAU or uh, can ask the university to ask uh, to give them accommodation in a campus tower being offered by the university. That is an option which is available for the students, and it is a little bit uh, genuine and cheaper option as compared to a private apartment. The other option that a student has here is uh, looking for a room in a VGA. Uh, there is a concept here where different people share different rooms in one single apartment now there's a possibility that you get an opportunity to live, live with different cultures which is again uh, an advantage you get an opportunity to live with uh, germans maybe other part of asia uh, so it's a, so some students prefer that yeah so if i talk about myself i myself living in a vage and i'm sharing an apartment with, with a german a person from uzbekistan and a person from pakistan yeah so so what is a monthly expenditure lump sum so if a student staying in a student hostel here mm -hmm. so what could be the rent on an average so on an average if you if i talk about vobau vobau offers uh, accommodation for around 220 to 250 euros mm -hmm. according to the length or uh, the area of the room, room. they are providing mm -hmm. and uh, the apartment which i am living in uh, is around 280 euros mm -hmm. plus the uh, miscellaneous cost because we mm -hmm. call it miscellaneous cost which includes electricity mm -hmm. wifi and radio bill mm -hmm. uh, but it can go up to 300 and 320 euros too depending on the Person. area yeah where we yeah. are living and yeah. the area of the so i can say that it depends between 300 to 330 on a wider side yes. so that is a monthly expenditure uh, monthly rent over here which a student can calculate that yeah. it going to be between 250 to 330 yeah. a range where yes. they can decide where they wanted to live in i personally prefer all the students please go to a multi uh, culture uh, this uh, stay you know when you stay you stay with the foreigners would be a very good idea rather than only uh, staying with your community uh, there are lot of reasons about it the reasons i have discussed in my earlier videos but uh, it is always good to stay with all the different cultures all together uh, the second is about the health insurance so you are using the public or the private one I'm using a public health insurance. Uh, the company that I have chosen is Techni uh, Technisha Krakun Kasa. Uh, I think this is a company which uh, most of the students here prefer. So earlier it was around 112 euros, but this uh, time they have increased it to 120 euros per uh, month. So this is another ex uh, expenditure that the student have to bother. Okay. 
what about uh, so it's like 330 plus 200 and 120 120 so it's going to be um 450 lump sum right. right now what about the grocery so i have seen this magdeburg is not so expensive as compared to berlin or munich or frankfurt so what is your grocery or uh, monthly grocery on an average um, see that also depends from students to student. Uh, like a lot of students like to eat outside hmm. because they don't get time to cook hmm. at home. Hmm. But on an average, according to me, I think hundred to one twenty euros is the maximum that a student have to bear. Yeah, if, if you he prefers to cook outside, uh, if they eat outside or if they cook in. Uh, if you prefer to eat uh, inside at home, okay. you, you want to cook. Okay. And then there is no limit if you are eating outside. It could go up to two hundred. Two hundred euros as well. So I wanted to give you uh, a very good. Uh, example we met a student there in Harley mm. and he's a bachelor student he's a vegetarian he told that he is spending a grocery of somewhere around 50 euros a month he's yeah. not buying any grocery more than that so I wanted to conclude that it depends upon student to student could be 50 it could be 100 or it could be 150 I believe 200 is maximum site mm -hmm. though if you're non-vegetarian also then also it's 200 so on lump sum I can say it's gonna be somewhere around 450 mm -hmm. including your rent and health insurance and 200 for this right. so it's gonna be 650 which is maximum because the public transportation is free over here yes. right so 550 is or on a safer side you can keep 600 euros as a monthly expenditure 650 I think is the maximum cap that a student have to bear but normally it uh, varies from 500 to 650 okay uh, right. and uh, before concluding this video I wanted to say about the part-time job so since you have a very good experience of part-time job over mm -hmm. here what is your opinion the person who really wanted to look for the job here and they have a shortage of money they wanted to do as a part-time mm -hmm. to refill their block account mm -hmm. or to support themselves or to support their form family what mm -hmm. is your opinion altogether now, uh, if a student wants to look for a part-time job here, yeah, there are uh, a lot of agencies that offer part-time jobs to students. They give this flexibility for the student that they can choose which day of the week they want to work and which company they want to work in and uh, th there are different agencies that take care of that. Also, there are some private companies which offer the same and offer a little bit more money but then uh, the student have to be very actively looking for those companies who offer such jobs. You have to talk to the employer, you have to, the, the, mostly the employer do not speak very good English here. So you have to be a little bit uh, smart, active, minded. smart minded that you are able to put up your point in front of the employer because a private employer pays a little bit more money as compared to these agencies here. So I wanted to conclude a student who wanted to search for a job and is a hard working and is focused will not face any problem searching of a job for a such, such a small town like Magdeburg also and the agencies which he is talking about these agencies are everywhere whether you are in Halle, you are in Leipzig, Magdeburg or maybe in any town of Germany so these agencies are there so look for those agencies go and communicate with your employers talk to them and definitely you're gonna get the part-time jobs exactly. and on an average the salary is 12.5 uh, euros per hour yeah the if you, if you go through agency they pay you a constant price of 12.43 euros on an average um, per, per, per hour okay but if you go to a per, private employer they depends on how good your bargaining skill is they can even pay you 13 euros or if the work is very difficult and they find you good enough for the job it can even go to 14 to 15 euros okay okay so uh, see if you're getting 14 to 15 euros per hour it's a very good amount altogether and i think if you take up a 10 hour shift in a day so it yeah. is somewhere around 150 euros a day right uh, depends yeah it depends, depends usually yeah. a 10 hour shift uh, is not allowed here it, it works in shifts so usually it, uh, the shift in, uh, consists of 8 hours and in that it includes 30 hours of break okay. so you tend to uh, the companies tend to pay only for seven and a half hours in one day okay. but then again it depends how much the company is paying, paying you per hour, you per hour. hour. okay okay so on uh, i think these information might be beneficial to all the students who have wanted to come here to magdeburg right. and they're really worried how they're gonna keep their survival will they get the part-time job or not so definitely you're gonna get the part-time job that's not a problem and if you have any question related to germany we would be very happy to help you out thank you so much ayush thank no, you for your not. time and uh, if you have any uh, if you need any assistance related to germany europe or related to poland we would be very happy to help you out thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned stay connected thank you